everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, I am going to be profiling for you my Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon deck profile. A lot of you guys have been asking for an update of this deck, and I'm bringing it to you today. So, there's many different ways you can play Blue Eyes White Dragon. You have fusion variations, you have your level 8 exceed plays with the synchro plays into your rank 9, you know, dot deck that is more mainstream, and that's the version I like playing. Uh, and then you have your Ritual version of the deck, which involves Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Now, Blue Eyes Chaos Max is a very powerful monster. It's a 4,000 attacker that you can Ritual Summon. Um, it can do double piercing when it attacks opponent's monster in defense position, and the deck does have ways of doing that. Overall, this deck can push out 1-2 to two Blue Eyes Chaos Max per duel, sometimes, depending upon your hands, but the deck is very powerful. You don't necessarily have to go for Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Uh, say you didn't get your combo pieces for Blue Eyes Chaos Max in your opening turn. Well, the deck can then function as a just normal Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. It just has Blue Eyes Chaos Max sprinkled into it. So, gives it's a little bit more of a fun deck, but I really enjoy it and, enjoy it and it's very powerful still. So first off, you have your three Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Um, this card is amazing. It's a 4,000 attacker, double piercing. Pretty much, ca you can't touch this thing. I mean, your opponent can't touch it. They can't get rid of it. Uh, and if they do, you can sometimes even put a second one out on the field, and they're going to have to get over that too. So there are. it's a very powerful monster, though. Uh, it, the nice thing about it, and the beautiful thing about Blue Eyes Chaos Max is it can be searchable. Uh, if you guys don't know this already, Blue Eyes Chaos Max can be searched through the Melody of the Awakened Dragons. So you can pitch a card, get your discard outlets for your eggs, you know, your White Stone of Legends, your White Stone of the Ancients, and whatever else you want to pitch to the graveyard, set up for combo plays. And then you can search out, say you have a Manju and this, you can search out, okay, I use Manju, Normal Summon, search out my Advanced Ritual Art, activate this, search out Blue Eyes Chaos Max, maybe add a Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, and then just do a whole bunch of different combo plays. Um, very, 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 very great card, and it helps search out Blue Eyes Chaos Max. So Melody of the Wicked Dragons, I would honestly say, is better in the Ritual version than the regular version of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, so three Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Next you have your three Vanilla Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, I, I love these. I love this artwork, and I love this artwork too because I love the ancient Egypt theme that it has in the background with the stone tablet. But you have your three vanilla blue eyes white dragons. You run it because literally this is still a blue eyes deck, and you use it also for advanced ritual art. So you can go advanced ritual art into your blue eyes chaos max. So just send it directly to the graveyard. And if you happen to draw too many of these, you can search out chaos form. So you can pitch it from your hand too. But um, yep. Yeah. Free Vanilla Blue Eyes White Dragon. Awesome, awesome card. We love Blue Eyes White Dragon here on this channel. Um, next we have your three Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. Pretty st straightforward. You guys should know what this card does. Pretty much, remember you, ha and I will say this again like I've said in my other video. Remember, when you reveal for Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, they uh, you reveal simultaneously your Blue Eyes White Dragon and your Blue Eyes Chaos, uh, Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. The, the reveal and the special summon are simultaneous. So uh, if somebody's trying to max C you, they have to max C you to the melody of the Awakened Dragons play if you're searching for the alternative. So just so you know that. But great card, helps you go for rank eight, level nine, synchro plays, the whole shenanigans, great, powerful card. Next up, two Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Um, you're pretty much, like I said, this deck functions as a Blue Eyes White Dragon deck with the Ritual Engine built into it. Um, so pretty much what I did is I took all my traps out, took a lot of other cards that make the other version of the deck more versatile, and took those components out of the engine and then put in the Ritual Engine with some other little things sprinkled in. But it still functions as a normal Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. So you have two Blue Eyes White Spirit Dragons, banishes back row, great, great card. You guys know what it does. Pretty good. Helps clear the way for your Blue Eyes Chaos Max and helps you go for rank 8 and level 9 synchro plays. So, still a good card. Your 3 Manju Manju of 10,000 hands. Helps you search out for all your ritual pieces. You help search out for your Blue Eyes Chaos Max, your Advanced Ritual Art, um, your Advanced Ritual Art, or your Chaos Form if that's what you're feeling because that's the, what the situation calls for. So, multi versatile. Um, 
if you get an opening, which I've had this happen before with uh, double manju and a melody of the Waking Dragons, you can literally go search two of your, one advanced ritual are usually one chaos form, search out two blue eyes chaos max, and sometimes you can go for double chaos max first turn, which is awesome. So yeah, uh, three manju. Next up we have your three sage with the eyes of blue. The reason I'm going so quickly through this deck profile is we pretty much all know what Blue Eyes White Dragon does. If you do not, um, there's another video on my channel where another video on my channel where I go in more depth about Blue Eyes White Dragon. But pretty much, this is a different version of the deck, but still functions as the normal deck. As I say that again, Sage with the Eyes of Blue is multi versatile in this deck. Still, uh, it can help you search out for your stones. So you have targets in the White Stone of the Ancients, the White Stone of Legend. Blue Eyes White Maiden, and Effect Veiler. So those are all your targets right there. Effect Veiler, Maiden, White Stone, Ancients. And he's multi-versatile too, so you can able to search those things out. And the cool thing is, you can still use them with your normal plays that you would do with Maiden with the Eyes of Blue. So if you normal summon the Maiden, say you got double Sage opening turn, so you could be like, okay, well, you know, I got maiden. I normal summon the maiden. I stalled out. Okay, now I can target the maiden, just like you would do with a normal blue eyes deck. Target the maiden. Maiden's effect would kick off, and then Sage's effect would kick off. So you're able to go, you know, blue eyes white dragon, blue eyes white dragon. Go for an exceed play or attack over an opponent's bigger monster. But that play works very well with Sage and Maiden. And the reason I really suggest to people to definitely run the Maiden um, in this build, as I'll talk about in a bit, a little bit more in depth, is because this deck is an offensive juggernaut because you're going for this bad boy. So it's best to have at least a couple of defensive plays um, that can come in handy and stall you out. Say your opponent cracks your board, you know, they break your board. Well, at least you have a Maiden to back up something and bide you a turn or two, which can turn around the duel. So... Your three sage and your one maiden with the eyes of blue, which is a search target. Uh, next up, you got um, your white stones of legend, or white stone of the ancients, excuse me, and your white stone of legend. You guys should know what white stone of ancients does. Pretty much, you send to the graveyard. Then you can special summon out, you know, different combo plays here: a blue eyes white dragon, uh, or a blue eyes spirit dragon, banish back row. Um, the nice thing is you can still activate Ancients in the Graveyard, banish it, uh, add a Blue Eyes Vanilla or Blue Eyes Spirit back to your hand, um, and then reactivate another trade-in. So say you double, you uh, added double, tra you drew double trade-in, well then you can just activate trade again by banishing this after you probably special summon it. That's usually what I do. I just wait a turn, okay, I get the effect of special summon, and now I'll banish it to add the other Blue Eyes I had engraved back to my hand. So it's really, really nice. Uh, and it can combo off with Chaos Form as well. So say I drew in the Chaos Form and I have a Blue Eyes Chaos Max in hand, but I have a Blue Eyes White Dragon in Grave. So I can go Banish, add the Blue Eyes to hand, activate Chaos Max. Uh, it's a little bit more, ver it's versatile, just like it is in a normal Blue Eyes deck, but it's multi-versatile in this deck, I would say. And then you have the one White Stone of Legend, still useful in the deck. Uh, it's another... Um, uh, dark Matter target, uh, Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter target, as well as it helps add Blue Eyes to your hand, so you can also use your alternatives. Um, very, very useful in the deck, but those are the stones that we run. On to the other parts of the deck, we run your one Effect Veiler. You can run multiple, multiple Effect Veiler. I like the Effect Veiler, mainly because the fact of the matter is I feel very confident, unless my opponent's got like a Kaiju or something, because Kaijus kind of suck. But if you have Blue Eyes Chaos Max in your, on the field and then you have an Effect Veiler in your hand, I feel pretty good. You activate an Effect up to try to out this up, I'm going to Effect Veiler that. So it comes in handy, so that's why I like the one Effect Veiler. Next up, we have our Triple Trade-In. Uh, trade-in staple in this deck. You have five targets. You also have an additional three targets if you want to count Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. And in this version of the deck, you have another three targets in Blue Eyes Chaos Max because Blue Eyes Chaos Max is a level three. So technically you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven targets for trade-in in this deck technically. So 
definitely run Delta 3 Trade in this deck. Uh, then you run your three Melody of the Awakened Dragons. Like I said, this card is multi-versatile in this deck because you can add Blue Eyes Chaos Max. You can add a Blue Eyes White Dragon. And you can add a Blue Eyes Alternative. So you can add any three of these right here. Uh, that's why I feel like Melody in this deck is definitely as staple as a three of because you can search out ritual pieces and you can search out your regular stuff that you would do with a Blue Eyes deck. So... Multiversal Tile Melody is, and definitely a staple as a 3 of in this version of the deck for sure. So 3 Melody. Who doesn't love a, a Lord of a D singing a guitar soon? You know, playing the guitar. I love that picture. Um, next you have 1 Cards of Consonance. Um, you could make this an Upstart Goblin, but I just like the plays with the 1 Cards of Consonance play, which if you guys don't know what that play is, I'll show you again. Um, you pretty much can go Sage with the Eyes of Blue, Normal Summon, add a, where is it, a White Stone of the Ancients or a White Stone of Legend to your hand, uh, pitch, it, uh, pitch it with Cards of Constance, draw two cards deeper into your deck. At the same time, you've got the effects in Grave, so you've set the cards up for Grave and you've thinned out your deck. So I do like it. I do like the one cards of Constance. I wouldn't want more of it, but you could also run Upstart Goblin if you want to. But I like that combo play of adding stuff, pitching it, drawing it. So it's 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 nice. So um, one cards of Constance for me. Uh, next up, three return of uh, <laughs> return of the Dragon Lords. Uh, very very good card. Definitely run this. The ban list is not out yet, but um, definitely run this as a three of staple. Staple. Beautiful card. Same thing I'm going to say to other people as I would say in a normal Blue Eyes Dragon Dragon deck. If you can activate this, activate it as soon as possible because it will help you protect your dragons. If you are able to activate this, activate it as soon as possible because it's better engraved than just special summoning in the dragon. Don't waste it. Don't save it. Just be like, okay, I activate it because engraved, it will help you protect your dragons. It will do more work for you. So activate it as soon as practicable. I guess I, guess I can say it that way. Um, got the blue Seto Kaiba sleeves on. Uh, next for your one ofs, we got Soul Charge and Silver's Cry. I like the Silver's Cry still in the deck, even though you won the three. And I like the Soul Charge because Soul Charge is kind of like a win condition in this deck. But Silver's Cry, I mean, you can set it if they it, Twin Twister, MST, whatever. You can just chain the Silver's Cry and bring out a Blue Eyes White Dragon or a Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. So it's very good. And Soul Charge is just great in this deck as it is in any Blue Eyes variation. Um, then you run your Ritual cards, which are pretty much Ritual, the, the things you wouldn't run in a normal deck, a Blue Eyes deck, but in this version of the deck you do run. Two Advanced Ritual Art. I think, I know Advanced Ritual Art's back at three, but eh, I didn't want to run three of it because it could be dead. Instead I ran two Advanced Ritual Art and one Chaos Form, because Chaos Form, if you draw all your Vanillas late in the duel, you've already, at, you know, gone through all your vanillas that are engraved or some of that nature, well, this card's going to be dead. So go for the Chaos Form. Activate the Chaos Form. It means you can go for another Blue Eyes Chaos Max. So that's why I say that I like this version of the better. I, you can go back and forth between what you want to do, but I prefer the two Advanced Ritual Art and the one Chaos Form. That's what I prefer, and that's what's always worked for me and the, always what I've run in the deck. Uh, then lastly, I run two low tech cards. Um, two Swords of Concealing Light. This card's very useful. Uh, I'm going to talk about another card that I am trying out in the deck, but I decided to cut it at the last minute. So, Swords of Concealing Light pretty much states, I can, for two turns, I can put all my opponent's monsters face down in defense position. And if I have a Blue Eyes Chaos Max on the field, all right, I went Blue Eyes Chaos Max, okay, put all your monsters face down, attack, I do double piercing, GG. Um, it just means you can do double piercing, run over things, and make them put them low on life points from the get-go. So I do like the two Swords of Concealing Light. You can't search it or anything of that nature, but I do like it. And I chose it over another card that I had thought about using, but I decided not to use. And that card is a card, I don't have it on me at the moment, but it's called Quaking Mirror Force. Quaking Mirror Force pretty much is one of the Mirror Force cards that came out last year. Pretty much what you do is if your opponent attacks you, you put all their monsters down in defense position. All right? Uh, another thing you could run in the deck is Floodgate Trap Hole. Um, so you could run those cards 
And I'm still testing those cards out in Blue Eyes Chaos Max, but the problem is, this is a spell, those are traps, the traps are slower, this is a little bit quicker because it's a spell card, and though I do like those traps, Quaking and Floodgate Trapple, because it means I can put my monsters face, my opponent's monsters face down and then run over it for double piercing with Blue Eyes Chaos Max, it's awesome, it's beautiful, but I decided not to run it because I haven't tested it enough, and I found when I was playing the deck, it kind of messed with the funk of the deck. I had to take pieces, you know, critical piece, pieces out of the deck just to run those trap cards uh, for this one card. So if you wanted to make it more focused on Blue Eyes Chaos Max, you could try those trap cards out, but that's up to you, the player, to decide. But Floodgate Trapple and Quaking Mirror Force are two tech cards you can run the deck and it would actually help you out. Uh, on to the extra deck. You have one Seto Kaiba token because Seto Kaiba brings you good luck, especially if you use the token and you have the play mat. You know, what can I say? Uh, next, we have two Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, your main synchro play of the deck. Uh, Spirit Dragon can help you go into your double Azure Eyes. I always run double Azure Eyes, I always love the card. You also have Starter Spark Dragon, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon and clear wing synchro dragon now people always ask me how do you go into clear wing synchro dragon well good sir if you use spirit dragon's effect on your turn okay so say spirit dragon was on the field okay and then it goes back to your turn all right you activate spirit dragon's effect bring out black rose uh, moonlight dragon normal summon a level one tuner which you have a plethora of in this deck and then you go for clear wing synchro dragon that's all it is. Start a Spark Dragon. I just like it because it gives you extra protection for some of your cards. And sometimes you can use it for the Maiden combo because you can go like, okay, bring out Spirit Dragon, protect your Spark Dragon because he won't blow himself up because of Spirit Dragon's effect because uh, you can use his effect. And then it'll go back to your turn and then you can use Spirit uh, this guy's effect on your Maiden, get a, ma a Blue Eyes White Dragon out and then go for another Spirit Dragon. So... Different combo plays for different folks, but that's what I like running for your Synchro Monsters. Uh, other cards I run, I run the level 8, so you got your number 38 Hope Harbinger, Titanic Galaxy, your F Divine Dragonite Felgrand, your Heli uh, Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis, great, great card. Um, I'll, eh, I, can, oh, I always have trouble pronouncing his name. I'll say, I'll say the Sylvan High Protector. Very good card in the late game if you're in an advantage situation but you don't know what card to make. Make I'll say. Big Booty can stop things and stack your opponent's deck. So, well, he has a big, yeah, 32 Booty is pretty big. Uh, then you have your uh, Galaxy Eyes package, which is Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, Galaxy Eye number 62 Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon, uh, Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Dragon. And number 95, Galaxy Eyes, Dark Matter Dragon. So your Photon Galaxy package. If you guys don't know this already, with Galaxy Eyes, Cypher Dragon, you can use his effect. If, you, if your opponent has like a Beatrice out in the field, you can steal that Beatrice and then overlay. Because it's a Galaxy monster now, the name becomes not Beatrice, it says Galaxy. So you can overlay into your uh, number Galaxy Eyes, Dark Matter Dragon. So that's a nice little combo you can do with his effect. So... That is the deck profile for you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, the deck is a little bit more fun than compared to the uh, other version of Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is more mainstream. and It's what I prefer personally, but I love this version just as much because I love Blue Eyes White Dragon. So, hope you guys all enjoyed this. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Nothing's really changed in the Blue Eyes Chaos Max variation. Though, if you really wanted to, do try out those tech cards I was talking to you guys about. Uh, Quaking Mirror Force and Floodgate Trapple because you could try them out in the deck. I didn't like it for my build, but maybe it'll work for you. But till next time, guys, take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling, and I'll see you guys next time. And go Blue Eyes White Dragon and go Seto Kaiba. See you guys next time, and good luck dueling to all of you.